Hello everyone, my name is Roger Fari and I would like to welcome you to another video. In this video, we're going to continue learning about NumPy. And specifically, we're going to learn about this amazing function that NumPy has, which is the function tile. Uh, the function tile, as its name suggests, allow you to put together multiple um, NumPy arrays so you could create a larger array that's going to serve your analytic purpose. All right, let's look at the code that I have prepared for you. Okay, first and foremost, we will import NumPy and two functions that are very useful in NumPy are NumPy ones and NumPy zeros, which basically creates an array of zeros or ones. So for instance, here, I create a 10 by 10 matrix or a two dimensional array of just ones, right? So these are all ones value, or I could use the same thing, zeros, I would get, uh, you know, the five to 10 dimension, uh, matrix dimension, and which of all of them are zero. I could like play with these values, I could have smaller or, you know, larger, um, uh, zeros and ones. And another thing I could do is that I don't have to, um, you know, limit myself with only two dimensions. I can, I can have three dimensions. I can have four dimensions, right? So it doesn't have to be two dimensions that NumPy is amazing enough to allow me to have all these dimensions. All right. So let's make this go back to something simpler just for now. All right. So the best way for us to learn the functionality of the function tile is to sort of redo what we did with um, zeros, right? So I could use the function tile to just do the same thing, right? You know, I could tile, like put together zeros in this structure, right? So once I do this, this is exactly what I'm getting, right? And this is, you know, five to 10, uh, two dimension of array with all zeros. And this is the same thing, right? So uh, the function tile does this for us. It just puts a, 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 an entity into a tile base, into a structure with that we give it to it. So for instance, we can have a more sophisticated entity we want to tile up, like you know, put next to one another. And once we do this, um, we can see that you know our shape is the same as um, is 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 not the same, right? The, the shape is different because we've got four elements, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. So this has been done. This one, two, three, four has been tied up for us, right? So that's uh, the way it ties up just more than one data, more than one element in your um, entity you want to tile up. Uh, but if you wanted to keep the structure, meaning that you want to uh, have a, a, an array, two dimensional array to, in, in your tile, you would have to include, um, you know, the same number of dimensions as ones in the structure you pass to your tile, right? For instance, this is sort of like tiling the same thing, but here we want to keep the structure of our, um, you know, entity we are tiling up. So once I run this, because I have these two ones, now um, I've got uh, these tied up so you can think of this as a sort of like a table like imagine a table and you've got like five rows and ten columns on each of these cells you've got one of these right and if you don't believe me we can access them right so for instance in the top right top left um, column cell we've got this Right or in you know another like you know just diagonal one one over we've got the same thing right so 
in every part of this time, right? We've got just the same thing because that's what we did. We tiled it up, right? So that's how you would go about uh, creating a, you know, sort of like changing your data, like creating this data structure that is tied up. So if you want to uh, sort of like tile up without keeping the structure, you want to like sort of like mesh it into just a, a, big, a bigger structure, uh, you don't pass uh, those ones as new dimensions. But if you want to keep the structure, you have to pass these ones as the new structures. All right, so let's look at an example together. Uh, here's a very exciting example. We want to use this uh, tile function to create a green orange image, right? You want to like you know like green orange tiles next to one another, create a beautiful image for us for ourselves. So one thing we do first of all, we uh, create one pixel, right? So uh, this three numbers that looks random. These are um, RGB um, color codes for green right so what you want to do is to find the green that you like find the rgb key code for it and you know once you do that do that then you can uh, use uh, the um, pil module to actually create it like if this is an image you're creating so this is just one pixel it's very small right you can see it's very very small right so this is just one pixel uh, but we can use the function type to make it a little bit larger, right? Instead of one pixel, let's have 400 pixels, like 20 by 20, right? So uh, with, with, we just use the function tile to do this, right? So this is one tile, right? And uh, this is using our one pixel. And when we look at this, now we've got 20, 20, and 3. This is the uh, structure of this one, right? So now... If I uh, use my function to create that image, now I have that green um, tile, right? So this is this is uh, one tile. So I call this a green pixel, right? So this is just green pixel, like you know, it's larger than pixel, but you know, we're just naming giving it a name pixel. And this is green pixel. This is an orange pixel. These are RGB key code for orange, and then one tile is used by the numpy tile to create this and then another tile using the orange pixel like the same structure right and then what we've done here we have created a green orange order and orange green order basically we are we are trying to con we are concatenating the uh, green tile with the orange tile and vice versa so let's go ahead and run this and we can look at our um, green orange order and also our um, orange green order so now that we've got orange green order let's tile this up in this uh, just row right so uh, we and this is the shape that we've got we've got 20 43 so we want to tile this up uh, in this dimension right in this in this in this way that's why we put 15 here right the rest we don't want to change so we put one so uh, we created a row, we call it even row. We're just using the same function, np tile, right? So once we do this, now we've got 600 here instead of 400, right? 40 multiplied by 15, 600. So now we can look at this. Now we've got this row, uh, green, orange, green, orange. Let's do the same thing. Another thing, we call this odd row. We're basically in an orange green order. We're doing the same thing to it. We're tiling it up. So once we do this, now we've got 200, 200, 600. And once we run this, now we start with orange green. So all we need to do now is to create a pattern by concatenating these two on top of each other, right? So we use the function concatenate, which basically put these two on top of each other. And we put the, uh, you know, you look at the, its shape, which is, um, you know, the shape of our pattern which is 40 because we put these two on top of each other, right? Makes sense. And now let's take a look at that, right? Now all we need to do is to tile this up, down, and then we've got our picture. So uh, our, our, our image, one image is our pattern. Basically we're tiling it 15 times on top of one another. So once we run this, uh, this is our image that we were able to create by just using the function uh, numpy tile. All right.
y me dice, aquí en el